how to prepare for neat pg if you are an intern or you are doing an internship how to study in your internship it depends on how busy your internship is take important pictures of whatever you see so for example types of canola type of tubings this is the time where you have to make the most of it and focus on major subjects it will give you a schedule which you can follow diligently that is the most important point of a test and discussion hello everyone welcome to another video now in this video we'll talk about how to prepare for neat pg if you are an intern or you are doing an internship now this is one of the most common questions that i get both on twitter instagram and youtube that i am an intern okay i still want to give neat pg my best attempt tell me what should be the study strategy during internship so my name is dr rishabh jain uh, i am an mbbs graduate of uh, all india institute of medical sciences delhi uh, and i have done my md in radiology from pgi chandigarh now first of all like you i also started my preparation during internship but unfortunately i couldn't get my desired rank in my internship attempt so i got a rank 4 in my aims during my may attempt that is after internship 6 months later and a rank 11 in pgi chandigarh 6 months later again uh, in may now should you prepare for internship and the answer is a resounding yes all of you should prepare for your internship at least some part of your prep okay don't just let go of your preparation internship thinking that my internship is hectic i don't want to do it it's not possible at least read some part of it start your preparation during internship because you know it will save one year of your time if you don't study at all you will study after your internship you will get selected one and half years later if you study now let's say if you study even 30 to 40% you are done with 30 to 40% of the syllabus you will get selected in the next 6 months in ina right that's the major difference so do start your preparation doing internship it's my humble request to all of you who are watching this video now how to study in your internship it depends on how busy your internship is now a lot of uh, internships have some very hectic postings some hectic postings and some light postings now it's very unlikely for an internship to have all 12 months of super hectic schedule yes there are some if you are one of those i'm sorry uh, unfortunately you won't have time to study but for majority of internships you have very hectic postings hectic postings and light postings now how to divide syllabus in each of these type of postings so if your he very hectic postings are what those which have 12 to 14 hours of duty per day hectic is 8 to 10 hours and light postings is around less than 8 hours right for a very hectic posting unfortunately you won't have time to study at all so you only what you do only is survive right go to the duty eat well focus on your health don't fall sick right this is not your battle this is not your battle to be fought in this time rest prepare yourself right take important pictures of whatever you see so for example types of canola types of tubings metallurgy reports how to analyze them abg reports how to analyze them ecg how to read and interpret it learn it during your heavy posting because that is the only thing you can do now in a hectic posting in which you get around 4 to 5 hours of study time focus on minors right that is the only thing that you can do during your hectic postings don't focus on majors because you won't be able to complete any major subject let's say your medicine goes going on you have around 8 to 10 hours of study uh, duty timings you will not be able to study medicine so focus on minors let's say derma let's say anesthesia radio ortho which are easy to do so you will finish two to three minors in that hectic posting and it will give you a sense of completion now again subjects like peds and physiology are not so vast i consider them semi minor semi major something in between so you can focus on these subjects as well now light postings are the time when you have to you know shift your gears to gear 4 or 5 and give all in this is the time where you have to make the most of it and focus on major subjects so in your light postings focus on obs gynae surgery medicine path pharma micro biochem and anat right so let's say your electives are going on uh many many uh, hospitals have elective internship postings which you get a lot of time to study or let's say you have a, a little chill postings pmr or anesthesia or ent depends upon college to college again i am not generalizing some uh, people some places have rural postings as chill postings aims as rural posting as hectic posting so it varies from place to place right so in your light posting cover these important subjects Now, among these important subjects four week subjects again focus on main notes and for your strong subjects focus on rr notes and 
complement them with PYQs and specific topic Q bank. So let's say you are reading ABG. It's a good time to do ABG related Q bank from your app. Now I would suggest all of you to join a test and discussion batch, you know, because it is a product. This test and discussion is a product specially made for interns and post interns who have less time, right? So it is a must for interns and post interns. There's a detailed schedule of how we have made the test and discussion batch of Medit. In fact, I have made it myself, uh, keeping all the subjects, giving appropriate time to each, right? So this uh, will end in April 20th this year, but this will also be valid for the next year. We'll release a similar thing for the next year as well. And uh, in fact, if you are someone who is an intern watching right now, you can have recordings of these test and discussions and past tests which are available on the app, you know, so you can give it at your own pace at sitting at your own home. Don't have to attend them live if you're uh, stuck in a heavy posting. Now in a hectic posting, how to do a test and discussion? Just try to give the test, even if you have not read the subject. What will, what it will help you with, it will tell you what topics to focus on when the time comes. And in your light posting, make the most of it. Study for that particular subject and give the test uh, really well. Now, how should be your timeline? Now, depending upon when your internship starts or what part of the preparation you're on, the good idea is to complete the first reading and the test and discussion in the first seven months. And then next two months, first revision, next one month second revision and the last 10 days third revision that is how an ideal uh, preparation should go again varies from place to place and the time when you watch this video now one month before the exam what to do now, for strong subjects do a retrograde revision so do uh, let's see you're re revising uh anatomy and anatomy was my strong subject so i revived in the last 15 days by just doing 100 or 150 questions and with that I revise the entire anatomy through a retrograde revision. Now for weak subjects, read your annotated RR notes, do a subject wise test for that subject and PYQs of that subject and you are done. Now if you are an intern, if you are an intern, please take a leave one week before the exam because this one week is your most important week. You know, unlike PMT exams, undergraduate exams, in postgraduate exams, you need to read theory uh, one week before the exam, you know, because the syllabus is so vast, you tend to forget stuff. So one week before the exam, just do a passive reading, not time for active recall then. Take leave, study for 10 to 12 hours per day. Right, this is the time when you have to go all in, right? And this uh, is the time that you have to focus the most on. So this is my strategy for an intern. Right. So depending upon which internship uh, you have divided into your hectic, very hectic and light postings in your very hectic posting, just survive hectic posting, focus on minors, light posting, focus on majors. These are the subjects to be focused on the light postings. Try to read them from main notes. If they're weak, RR notes, if they're strong and do it in a test and discussion, you know, it will streamline your preparation. It will give you a schedule which you can follow diligently. That is the most important point of a test and discussion, right? So that is all from my side from this video. Thank you. And if you have any queries, please put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.